One of the more traditional aspects, I suppose, of renewable energy would be wind. And we've got uh, Jonah Crabtree here of Can Renewables. How you Jonah, wind energy, what's the sort of market like here in Ireland? It's, Ireland's got quite a big market for wind energy, especially the small scale wind, which is getting more and more popular. Um, large scale wind is de developing all the time. Obviously, we've got a decent windy climate as well. Um, so it's, it's, it's moving further forward all the time in, in Ireland. Absolutely, and you see farmers now popping up. I know there's actually one across the road from me, small scale wind turbines. Just sort of what's the cost involved with like a farm, to put a wind turbine on a farm? So these little wind turbines, they're produced by a company called SD Wind. Um, they're made in Scotland. They're, this one's a little three kilowatt turbine, um, and these cost roughly about 40,000 installed. Um, there is a six kilowatt turbine, which is a bigger one. Obviously, it's double the size of this. Um, there's an extra meter or so in the blades. The good thing about these wind turbines as well is that um, there's no actually any motors or any kind of gearboxes in them, um, and they're working it downwind as well. So the blades are on like a, a, a hinge, so these never need turned off in high wind speeds. They regulate their own speeds. Um, so so uh, what sort of benefits could farmers expect if they install this turbine on the farm? It could be produced now, producing power tw potentially 24 hours a day, um, as long as you've got the decent wind speeds, which is a big advantage over solar, because um, you're only producing so like uh, electricity when there's daylight with solar. Um, but that's the main advantage, really. Like speaking of solar, it was probably the most the one that people went to first, obviously, to mm. renewable energy. What's the market been like for that in the development of solar energy? Uh, the market for solar is really big. Um, it's a cheaper alternative to wind, um, so it's a quicker, quicker, cheaper install as well. Um, and you can produce a lot of power in decent weather. Um, but obviously you need daylight for solar. Probably. And what sort of projects are yourselves involved in? So we mainly involved in commercial projects uh, when it comes to solar. Um, so like kind of 40, 50 kilowatt projects, which can range from anything from supermarkets to milk and parlours to, to anything really like. And we'll also do the supply and install and servicing on these turbines as well. And we we'll do um, like blade repair on like bigger scale wind turbines as well. And speaking of repairs and maintenance, what sort of maintenance will farmers have to go through to keep one of these in order? So one of these turbines, the recommenders get serviced every two years. It's a half a day service on them, um, involves a little bit of greasing, general cleanup and some replacement of a, a kind of some movable parts and that's it. So the main thing, it's kind of a one-stop installation, they're very easy to maintain yeah. after that. 100% and like I say, with there not being any gearboxes or any motors or anything inside, there's less to go wrong with them. And then looking towards the future, obviously, there's a lot of push on all sorts of renewable energy, but you think there is still a place for solar and wind, obviously? 110%, it's only going to get bigger. That's it, it's the, the best green alternatives that they are. That's so, right, thanks very much. Nice one. Thank Perfect. you. Thank Cheers you. for that.